Mm. So you mentioned there kind of about collecting data and stuff, right? So a, a huge, you know, everyone is collecting data at the moment, right? But there's a lot of talk about a data <coughs> utilization gap. Mm -hmm. What do you think businesses can do in order to overcome that? Well, one thing that, that we've learned is team up with others that do it and see how they're doing it and, and brainstorm for how you can really get value because other people have cracked it. And often looking at other, what people have done will give you ideas of how you can really bring insight into your business. I'm not saying that has be, it's all been done before, but often looking at a non-competing industry is really helpful in, in bringing out new ways of doing things. If I give you an example, um, we work in oil and gas, and we knew nothing about drilling, but we knew how to use models, how to get data in real time from, from drilling. We knew how to look at historic data and use that to have confidence level into how we're going forward. We brought it all together because they've got competing, um, competing um, uh, levers for their, for their industry of drilling as fast as possible because non-productive time costs a lot, but you can't compromise safety. And as well, you've got an aging um, workforce of drillers that know exactly what they need to do, but the, the young ones, it's increasingly hard to drill and it's hard to train people. So how do you solve this? Well, we, we thought, well, well, we'll help you run your models in real time. So they used to do their planning for drilling and then here's the plan and the drillers would follow the plan. If things didn't go right well, it's experience, I'll handle it. Why not continuously plan? As you get new data, just revise your plan as you go along and, and broadcast that so that everyone that are stakeholders in this see the same information. And you know, it's not rocket science, but it's something that the company wasn't doing and it's something that we used to, to do on the pit lane. Everyone's got to look at the same data so that the, the decisions are done correctly. And the decision must be made at the point of highest uh, you know, knowledge. And that is not normally at the top of the company. Um, it's at the different points in the company where, where that knowledge resides. But you want everyone to benefit from these. So this is the kind of skills that so I mean by bringing together a number of, of, of things together. Even if we're not the expert, we can bring something to, to the mix. And these people, you know, we, they announced that we, they, they think on some of their wells, they cut down by 25% non-productive time. Now that's that's stunning. Hmm. But that's because you're supporting, you're giving your employees ways of making better decisions. 